One major piece of evidence for evolution is something known as vestigial structures. Vestigial structures are basically any structure in an organism that is no longer functional, not functioning as it once had, or perhaps unnecessary. These can be organs, behaviors, uh, neurological pathways, um, and many disappear during the development of an embryo. The most important things uh, we learn from vestigial structures is that they give major hints as to the evolution of organisms or the evolutionary history of the organism. Let's go, few, go through a few examples. In humans, some popular vestigial structures include the coccyx or the tailbone, wisdom teeth, Um, and our appendix, right here. We could choose um, any one of these structures and discuss what the original purpose was and why it has reduced in structure, or in other words, become smaller or less pronounced. My favorite is the whale pelvis. So this is a whale up here on the right. Why would a whale with a long tail and fins to swim have a floating pelvis inside of them? Great question. Since a pelvis is used for walking, and all whales are born with this structure, they must have also walked at some point in their evolutionary history. Now that they live in the ocean, this is no longer necessary. But it once was, which is why it is called a vestigial structure. Also, you could take a look at the human appendix. The human appendix sometimes becomes inflamed causing appendicitis and is most certainly a remnant of the need for added help during digestion. This added help is likely to have immune system function. For instance, before humans discovered fire, they were unable to cook their food. The appendix probably helped defend humans against dangerous bacteria um, or other organisms that we are less likely to be in contact with today. So we'll put immune system function. One way to remember that a vestigial structure is a reduced form um, of a once uh, quite helpful and prominent structure is to think of a man's suit vest. Not a great illustrator, but here's a little vest, the buttons. It's an article of clothing that traces back to the past. Back in the early 1900s, men uh, wore typically three-piece suits that included vests. Today, these suits may seem a bit unnecessary or extraneous, too formal perhaps, but the vest, just like a vestigial structure, can be said to be from the past. And this can help us understand what men, and perhaps women, preferred back then. So this can help us understand vestigial, this word vestige, or remnant of the past to understand that we have organs and structures and neurological pathways in our body that are remnants from the past. Don't forget to practice the difference between this powerful paleontological evidence for evolution and other major examples of evidence for evolution, including comparative anatomical evidence, embryological evidence, and molecular evidence.